you want to talk about it or you want me to talk about it? It, it? This is all you. This is your wheelhouse. It was my story, but it's all in your wheelhouse. But I, I actually, it I think. It was your story. And I, I was think, like, look at God. You know? Look at God. <laughs> if you've seen the promo, it was like, is James going to make the switch? Yes. So basically, Google is developing Switch the Android app for iOS. And basically, you can copy your data and your apps from your iPhone. And basically, um, it allows you to copy the most important data from your iPhone and bring over your apps. Um, basically, the official way to bring data from your iPhone to a new Android device is to back everything into Google Drive and then download it again on your new phone. Uh, it backs up your most important data and photos, but not your apps or anything you don't directly uh, tell it to back up. Um, Android's official data restore tool got an update recently and um, they noticed mentions of Google develop switch the Android app for iOS similar to the Apple's move to iOS app for Android so Google Google's already been doing this Joy's been yeah. doing it but yeah. now Apple is saying hey let's jump on this so um, I, it's not clear how it would work beyond Google having a table that knows the Android equivalent of various iOS and apps and installs them from the Play Store. Of course, any paid apps wouldn't be able to carry over without purchasing the Android version. So for now, Switch to Android app is not yet in the App Store, but it should be a matter of time considering the app has, has had the move to iOS app available for well over five years. Um, basically, About time. Are you going to make the jump, man? That's the question. That's the million dollar question. Are you going to make the jump and you're going to come over to Google Pixel? Look, um, look. Let me know, brother. Look, I've, I've been back and forth. I, I, I told you a few months ago, I actually had an LG Wing in my checkout, in, in my cart at Verizon because I wanted to get that before um, they got rid of them since LG has gotten out of the uh, cell phone business. I, I am not against android I've, I've had samsung's i've had lg's i've had uh, a lot a lot of other brands as well I, i'm just so ingrained in the apple ecosystem that that still has to be my primary device uh, i i would not have any problem of getting a, a samsung s21 and, and shooting what is that 6k video look 120 hertz screen i love that i would love to have that again it's just so much of my life and my extended family's life revolves around the Apple iOS ecosystem that I can't make it my primary driver. But this is a good move, I think, really for for Apple to allow this because 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 they, they are so tight with what actually goes in the App Store that you know it, it's a lot closed as opposed to the the Google App Store. So I, I think it's fair competition. I think it just it just means that Apple is being neutral to this look if you want to go apple if you want to go android fine you go ahead here here's an easy way to transition back and forth because again like you said it's, it was already in the, in the in the google star for for folks going from ios to android so i don't see any problem with this i will probably still buy a android device i'm i'm waiting for the next pixel to be honest with you because i want a i want a stock android device uh in, in, in my arsenal just so I can do some beta testing and things like that. Yeah, you know, Rich knows it, man. Look, I, this is what I'm saying. I'm, I'm Apple to the core, to the to the, to the the bad core. I, I got, well, where are my books at? You know, the cult of Mac. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here. I, I, I bleed Steve Jobs um, green or whatever color it is. But uh, I, I recognize that this is a good thing for, for, for people.